BeerMumbo.com here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beer sleeve. What will you need to make a beer sleeve? Well, first off, you're going to need a can. 16 ounce, 22 ounce, 12 ounce cans, they all work. Second, you'll need a can opener. Something handheld, something sturdy with a nice sharp rotating blade. Third, a nice sturdy pair of scissors. Something that can cut through the aluminum can and do a nice fine cut. Let's go ahead and get started with step number one. Step number one, you're going to have to remove the top and the bottom of the can. It's very important that you get a nice clean cut. So, you, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clamp the blade on the inside of the can just like this. And you're going to want to turn the dial away from you so that you get a nice steady motion when that can's rotating. It, it's so important that you get a nice clean cut here. And just keep turning and turning until you get the center of that can to pop out. There you go. And you, you'll have to fish the center of this can out. And there you go. The top of the can's done on step one. And there's the center of the can. Now you need to do the exact same thing for the bottom of the can. And just like before, make sure the blade is on the inside of the can and that you're turning away from yourself so that you get a nice steady motion and then eventually it'll pop out just like that. There you go. Step one is complete, and you can see through the can. Now for step two, you, you need to trim the center ring out of that can. At the very top, there's a hard ridge ring, and you're going to want to kind of break it just like this. Don't cut it too much. You want it just enough so that you can put the scissors on the inside just like this and trim that hard ring off the top of that can. It's very important that you get a nice steady and clean straight line when you're cutting on this because the top of this the sleeve is what's going to hug the top of your can. So just keep trimming around until you get this just like that. There you go. Now the top of your can is done. You still got the top where it's beveled and there's that hard ring that you needed to remove. You got to do the same thing for the bottom of the can. The bottom of the can needs to be a straight line, not beveled like the top. And it needs to be nice and clean too. So actually what you're going to need to do to get this, this straight cut at the bottom is, see where the ridge starts, where it starts to bevel in at the bottom of the can? You're going to want to cut right before that. And you need to make sure it's a nice clean cut just like this at the bottom so that uh, it's a straight line at the bottom and a beveled top. For the third, you need to cut a line just like this from the top to the bottom. Try not to do it near the graphics of the can because this is what's going to actually wrap it up. And for the fourth step, you're going to want to roll your sleeve up in a coil. It's very important to get a nice strong coil because that's what wraps and holds this sleeve onto the can. Real simple. Sometimes you can rubber band it or string it. Step number five is time to disguise that beer. There you go. If you get nice clean cuts on your beer sleeve, you will never be able to tell that you've got a sleeve around that beer. Just simply crack it open at your family function, wherever you bring this thing. Take a sip and enjoy it. And after you're finished with that one, just go ahead and remove that sleeve and put it on the next one. These sleeves are really good for any type of super boring family get-togethers, beer-free weddings, and many other things.